Hey there, this is EJ. We're going to talk about uh, today a scapular Y view. It's a tricky little exam, mostly because uh, everybody kind of does it their own way. And the reason, one of the reasons I think that everybody kind of does do it their own way is the both the Merrill's and the Bontrager books, uh, neither one of them really give you any kind of a specific direction as to how to go about this exam. Uh, both of them actually say, as far as positioning is concerned, to essentially rotate the patient between 45 and 60 degrees. And I mean, that's 15 degrees worth of essentially error. Uh, 45 degrees, or between 45 and 60, that's, it gives you a lot of room to, to kind of maneuver and a lot of room to be under rotated or over rotated. So now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a really simple, easy, uh, foolproof solution to getting a scapular Y on the first try every single time uh, and it uses a couple of very easily palpable bony protrusions essentially that you can feel on just about anybody in any situation whether they're able to cooperate or not whether they're able to to roll or turn or twist or not you can you can make it work um, the points that you're going to use you're going to use the superior angle of the scapula which you can feel that and it's, you can I mean that kind of, it's kind of pops out on just about everybody you just feel that superior angle right there and then if you follow the uh, spine of the scapula up around the acromion to the AC joint you can kind of feel where the clavicle comes together with the scapula right at that uh, AC joint and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a line and just draw a line straight between the AC joint and that superior angle right there and draw that make that perpendicular to your IR that is your scapular Y every time. No troubles. Right on, dead on. A, P, P, A. It does not matter. Those are the points that you're looking at. You can feel it on anybody. Again, here's your superior angle. Here's your H, C joint. You just line those up. Draw a perpendicular line. Boom. There is your scapular Y every time. So, have a look at it for a little bit. Here, I'll even throw in some, some muscles just to kind of show you that, you know, this even even with the tissues included these are still points that you can use very easily lost my lost my skeleton there for a minute but there's your AC joint there's your your superior angle boom draw your line and let's just kinda focus on there get rid of the muscles so that we can see that hey we're pretty much right on maybe maybe within a degree or two you know it's it's hard to do it when you can't actually feel the person. You're just kind of going off of the little 3D model here. But uh, there's your there's your Y view, maybe a degree off. But every every single time, you're you're going to be able to palpate those points, get that AC joint lined up with the superior angle, every single time. So I'll just kind of rotate that around, let you kind of see it from a couple different angles. Really try and get used to visualizing what these bones look like from every different angle and uh, I hope that you've enjoyed I hope it's been helpful and I hope it works for you and I hope you'll come back for more video tutorials at ihaveXrayVision.com.